if there was any movie you could be a part of, I guess, well, which movie would it be? Mm. Well, like in type of a series, I think um, I might just be typecasting myself, but uh, like Narcos, something with uh, a lot of, with a big Mexican cast where they're speaking like authentic Spanish. And then I could be one of those Mexicans that the Yo No Sabo kids that don't know it, that don't know Spanish, you just play that character. Um, there's plenty of those, plenty of parts like that. But that series, the Narco series, like it, they really want to give the story without glorifying them. And that's what I like. Like there's a ton of series on Netflix of glorifying all these drug traffickers, but Nauticals really gives the whole story without making them seem like heroes. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. So yeah. it would be more like you would want to be in something that's more cultural based. Yeah. Everybody says like they want to be in Avengers or some some like big franchise. But I just feel like you're putting yourself out there to you're no, you're not so much spreading yourself thin, but you're putting yourself on a pedestal. And then if you do anything bad at that point, then it's gonna come back to you. Like yeah. once you be once you play a hero, you become somebody's hero. So you kind of become a representative of that character, even though if you've only played it once. Yeah, because people usually want to consistent, like especially if it's like something like that, people will want to see you in that again and again and again on a consistent basis. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, technically you could quit, but there's going to be a lot of drawback. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like... Robert Downey Jr. Everybody's gonna know him as Iron Man. Though he's not, yeah. he's done. Yeah. You know, and it's people have an emotional connection to those characters. Whereas yeah. if you're playing it on a on an indie movie or something that's new, people don't really have that connection to it yet. Yeah, that's true. And then you could see the wrath of fanboys. Like <laughs> if you're if you're on the receiving end of the hate, it's not good. Yeah, oh, that's true. So, out of, like, all the movies you've watched, which one would you say, like, stuck out to you? Uh, probably my most favorite movie and probably the, the one that inspired me the most was Interstellar. I don't know if you've seen that one with Matthew McConaughey. I don't think so, no. I've, I've heard of that one, but I haven't seen it, no. So, I feel like Matthew McConaughey, he plays himself in almost every movie, like, his accent, his voice, and it's like, okay... You could see right through it, but in this movie, you right, you really don't see Matthew McConaughey. You really see the character that he's trying to portray, and it kind of shows you like how beautiful a movie could be because everything was on point in that movie: the music, the CGI, um, the mood, the pace, and the way you, it could be relatable. Like you could see it happening, like in our time. And once they sell that, I feel like that's when you're in for an experience and not just watching a movie. Yeah, I can see that. So you said that that movie specifically inspired you to more so like pursue acting. Yeah, because it was like, this is, an, this is a masterpiece. I identifying all the key aspects that make it a masterpiece. And it's it causes like a movie to go off in my head. Like a lot of the time whenever I'm trying to write for like a project or something, it just pops up in, in my head, like as a, as a movie, like I'm watching it and experiencing it like for the first time. And then now I just putting it into paper and then putting it onto the screen. So somebody else could experience what I just experienced. Oh, I see what you mean. So yeah. would you, would you consider him like one of your like favorite actors? No, not really because of that, oh, really? because of him playing himself, like, um, there's Fool's Gold, uh, Wolf of Wall Street. There's so many movies where he's just playing himself, but in that one, he really like stepped it up, stepped it up. And not just so, him, all all the other actors in there. Like there's big names, and I feel I always feel like um, whenever you watch a movie with a big name actor, it kind of takes you out of of the experience. It's like, oh, okay, I'm just watching. Um, like say Robert Downey Jr. or um, what the guy from Django, not Jamie Foxx, Leonardo DiCaprio, these big name 
um, actors and you're just watching them. Like, I'm just watching him. It kind of yeah. takes you out, but their performance is the one that brings you back in to the movie. Yeah. And you suddenly forget that this is an actor. Those are typically the ones that, that really draw me in. Yeah. So who, who would you consider one of your favorite actors? Mm, probably probably have to be like Denzel Washington. Oh, Denzel Washington. Okay. Like, I can't think of a movie where he was bad in. Like, um, I also like to think of this movie um, that was a, adapted from a play. I think it's called um, Fences. And he plays like... Um, not an abusive dad, but uh, a dad that's like kind of like hard, like emotionless to his family. And I didn't like the story of it. It was just one of those movies that makes you feel bad. It was about, well, I don't, oh, I'm just going to ruin it anyway. He, it's basically about like a hardworking dad who's like cold, but then he, he gets somebody, somebody else pregnant. So he, then he starts having marital issues with his wife because... Oh. The girl that he was cheating on with dies, so now they're taking care of the kid together. And I just kept watching because there's performance and it was so great. Like I was so pulled into it, but the story itself was like, God, this isn't something that I wanted to watch. And yeah. I think those are the, the best ones. Um you don't really see a lot of actors like that these days. They they all kind of they all kind of like play the same role. Like Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, I feel you. One of my like favorite movies that that I like watched was like I don't know if you've heard of it, but Troy. Troy, yeah. Yeah, with Brad Pitt. Yeah. Yeah, that that's one. that's a really good one, and that's yeah. that's one of those masterpieces where um, it's just good across the board. Yeah. The acting from him and um, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Like when yeah. I watch. Yeah. When you watch Joaquin name. Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. The the King, right? The one like goes like this. Like, you, you kind of build, like, a resentment against him. Like, I oh, hate yeah. this guy. Yeah. And, uh, that's, how you, that's how you know they're, they're playing the part really well. When you, like, exactly. Either you like them really a lot or you hate them. <laughs> yeah. But if you're, you're like, oh, I don't care, that's when yeah. it's, like, that's what you don't want. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, so, uh, before we end off, do you have anything you want to say that you didn't get a chance to say? Uh... No, I feel like uh, I got the point point across was um, like anybody should, anybody and everybody should experience this at least once. Like see how the sausage is being made. Yeah. And, like once you get like a good, a good example of how movies are made, then you know what to ask for, what how to create a demand for good movies. Because I feel like right now we're, in a, a spot where movies are just being mass produced just to get eyes the same way. Yeah. Content on your, on your feed is just made to get your attention. Yeah. Like the past couple of movies that I've been watching have just been disappointing. And it just, that's the vibe that I get. It's like the trailer, just, just enough to get you in. And then the rest is just. It what, doesn't live up to its part. Yeah. That. And it's like, it's trying to, promote not so much a message but it's trying to like appease certain people like yeah. if somebody has a group of people have a viewpoint okay this movie's for them and it's they're not challenging viewers like as like they used to like putting viewers in like compromising positions like oh like one one sh series that i think about that's not like a movie or a tv show is like um one piece no, not one piece. Oh. Death Note. Oh, death. So the main character is really charismatic and he's really smart and it gets you to to go to root for him despite him being really bad. And I think that's, we need more content like that. The ones that really challenge what you really think and how you perceive people. Yeah. No, I like that. I like that. 